based on the electricity that's traveling through this arena and decibel level of the crowd, I think it's safe to say the roof of this building just might blow off. And man, I never get tired of watching these guys compete. And I can tell you that this Brooklyn crowd has been anticipating this match ever since the doors opened tonight. Let's talk about Yamamoto for a moment. All these superstars have the ability, but what does he need to do specifically to come out ahead here? This has all the ingredients of an epic night, and I expect this match to live up to its billing, and then some. He may never walk the same after that backbreaker. When we talk about Brock Lesnar, we're talking about an animal. An animal who's dominated every level of competition he's ever entered. An animal who will tear an opponent to shreds until there's nothing. Can he end it quickly? And Lesnar powers out. Still seems a little early. Mighty Yamamoto looking a bit surprised by this assault. But he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. If you ask me, he expends too much energy trying to be deceptive and deceitful. If he just played by the rules, he'd likely be in far better shape right now. Byron Brock Lesnar is a destroyer. It's that simple. The beast is a... F oh, and he breaks free. But the damage might have already been done, Michael. We're witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. Oh, the reversal by Brock Lesnar. Yamamoto beginning to stumble a little. This match is definitely testing his metal, guys. This match is trending in a bad direction for him right now, guys. He's going to want to make some changes if he wants to stay in it. If there's a finishing move that can end an opponent's existence once and for all, it's the F5 from the Beast Incarnate. The move shows Lesnar's power and true disdain for humanity. Now it's Lesnar taking some punishment. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. Quick pin attempt here. And a kick out, much to nobody's surprise. Yeah, seemed to be just testing the waters a bit there. He knows he's in trouble. That can turn the tide of the entire match. The most incredible thing about Brock Lesnar's F5 is no matter who it is, the conqueror lifts up his adversary with the greatest of ease. No one can stop this man. The list of WWE Hall of Famers, legends, superstars, heck, even executives who have been destroyed by the F5 is too long to mention. Oh, no. Takes him face down. Not where he wants to be right now. Yeah, you're not going to win many matches when you're down. And the splash finds its mark. That one was off the mark. Awful. Just plain awful. And he goes for the pin. Lesnar easily powers out. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. He's really taking over this match now. Well, moves like that at this stage are not to win any match. It's, they're just used to send a message.
Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. That might have hurt his head just as much. He hits the belly to back suplex. Brock Lesnar with a nice reversal. He had nothing left. Flips the script on him there. Could this be it? Easily kicks out of that one. Nice kick out. And a test here for Brock Lesnar. He has to formulate a plan quickly to get things going. Tonight may not be his night, guys. This has got to be incredibly disappointing for him, guys. Remember, he's already executed two finishers here tonight, and neither served their purpose. And now, it looks like he's at the end of his... F5! Oh, my. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Unbelievable. <laughs>